If we are only about the business of looking up into the sky at the expense of not looking down at the earth, we run the risk of neglecting our responsibilities for the stewardship and care of one another and of the land, sea, and sky. You said at the beginning of the conference, there's 250 people uh, yeah, the first year we did it. This year, 919, if you, heard, uh, if you heard the first day. You know, and bigger is one thing, but I think better is what's more important. I'm at Amos because uh, everybody else in this, in this field is also here. What I'm seeing is the convergence of the art of the possible, the technology that's enabling us to do new things in space with a sense of urgency. When we work together inclusively, um, we come up with better solutions. And that's why international cooperation and space go hand in hand. And maybe it is time for all of us to develop a common view on the scientific, technical, and operational aspects of space traffic management. I hope over the next few days we will find a path toward the future that's a safe future for everybody to use space as it's intended. Uh, what makes this conference here really special is this unique mix of these many different actors in the field. You know, it's the mix between science people, academics, the users, military, private sector, contractors, and government. And I think this is really a unique mix, which I have not seen in any of the other meetings I'm attending, and I'm attending many of them uh, all over the world. Uh, however, I would offer to you that we are entering a second space age, and a second extremely exciting time to be in space. I truly hope that they see that this is something, the confidence, you know, that they can do these types of careers and then that they will if they stay focused and have educators like the ones here bringing them to opportunities such as AMOS today. Improved situational awareness and space traffic management are a key dependency for the trillion dollar space economy. The people um, that I met here and they all have this, share this passion about space and to make this our activity is sustainable. Its reputation precedes it and the people that are here are, are genuinely inspiring and it's you know, rubbing shoulders with uh, some pretty, pretty big leaders in the field. Yeah. What makes uh, Amos the best conference in the world is the people. It's the people and the partnerships and the trust that we have in each other, uh, striving for a common goal into making the best SSA technologies there are uh, out there. Um, we've been supporting Amos as a top sponsor for, I think it's 11 or 12 years. Uh, a line that we have is a target-rich environment. So that's basically in some, I think, our, our main points about why we attend. I think that the 2020 year will be a building block year for us. A time to put very important building blocks in place in the hopes that we can then accelerate activities in, in 21. But this has been a great program for us and I think many of us learned as much, uh, I mean as mentors we learned as much from the mentees and uh, then maybe they learned from us, I don't know. For us it was super interesting. It's over before the blink of an eye and it's time for us to say ahoy ho, which means until we're together again.